Okay, YouTubers, uh, it's really annoying whenever I go onto Chrome and I click it and this message pops up. Your preferences cannot be read. Some features may be unavailable and changes to preferences won't be saved. This is how you get rid of this stupid, annoying message for iMac. And uh, so this way you could just browse whenever you want to. You go up to the little um, magnifying glass and uh, type in library application support Google Chrome. And then there's Google Chrome right here. Once that's typed in and you pull that up, uh, it shouldn't take that long, but here, here's the screen. Uh, what I did to fix this message, uh, first I quit Google completely, uh, Google Chrome. I'll click OK to that message, quit Google Chrome. And then I came over to the default file right here. And all I did was rename default to default basic. Um, don't ask me why, you can put whatever you want, but uh, I guess the file is just corrupted. So once you just do that, it will be... Okay, then what I'll do is I'll go up to restart after doing default basic. What are you gonna do? Because once I've restarted my computer, again, I'll type in the same thing, squiggly line slash library application support Google Chrome. Uh, I haven't been able to figure out how to navigate to this file, but um, that's what I'll type in. And once it loads up, again, I'll click Chrome. And I, because Chrome now works properly, I don't have all my bookmarks that I once had. So in order to get that, what I'll do is I will change this file back to basic, uh, erase basic from it. And then it says the name default has already been uh, is already taken, please choose a different name. So that's a little odd, that kind of bothers me. Um, so there it is, there's default, which ended up having all the, uh, the information I need. So what I'll do is I will change default to default two. As you can see, there's default basic and default two. So I'll come back over to default basic and I'll switch that back to default. And, which, and then I'll just delete default two. Now, when I quit Google Chrome, and then I come back down and open it, not only is that message gone, it's running fast again, and all of my information is still here. Yes, it's a little tedious, but at least you have the file renamed what you want it to have, and you got rid of the second one that was uh, messing everything up. So, as you can see, all my bookmarks are still there. And that's how you uh, successfully fix that error.